Hello everybody, in this video we're going to talk about the Pythagorean Theorem and this is one of those theorems that you are going to see applied over and over again in different ways in just about every math class you take from now on. So if I asked you what the Pythagorean Theorem is, many people are just going to shout out a squared plus b squared equals c squared and that's not actually the theorem. The theorem has to do with the sides of a right triangle. Remember, right triangles have 90 degree angles. And we're going to call the two sides that make up the right angle legs, and the side opposite the right angle, the hypotenuse. And what the Pythagorean theorem really says, it says the sum of the squares of the legs is equal to the square of the hypotenuse. So if we said that one leg was A, the other leg length is represented by b, and the hypotenuse is represented by c, then indeed it does boil down to a squared plus b squared equals c squared. But it's really leg squared plus leg squared equals hypotenuse squared. That's really what the Pythagorean theorem says. And they're, leg, they're lengths, right? So it's the length of the leg, length of the leg, length of the hypotenuse. So of course, this makes finding right angles possible, because if you have three side lengths where this holds true and it can be a triangle, then you have a right triangle. Most of the time, you are asked questions like this where, you know, someone will give you either directly a picture of a right triangle and they'll label some side with some unknown and you have to find the length of that. Or it'll be in a word problem context where if you drew the picture out for the word problem, you would get a right triangle. And so in this case, we're trying to find the length of a leg. And I can set up the numbers into the formula that Pythagorean theorem gives us. So leg length of 3 plus some other length equals hypotenuse's length. And then we can go ahead and solve and figure out that a has to equal 4. And many people recognize this. They see 5 as hypotenuse, 3 as a leg. They know about the 3, 4, 5 right triangle. And whenever you have three integers that satisfy the Pythagorean theorem, these are called Pythagorean triples. And a lot of times when teachers want the numbers to come out nice, they will take a Pythagorean triple and use it. And there are infinitely many of these things. 3, 4, 5 is the most famous. You also have 5, 12, 13. And if you just look up Pythagorean triples, you will find infinitely many of them available to you. Because you can take one of these triples and scale it all up by, say, like a factor of 2, and you can get like 6, 8, and 10. That's also a Pythagorean triple. If I wanted to make it fractional, I can say like 5 halves, 12 halves, and 13 halves. That will also give me um, something that's going to work with the Pythagorean theorem. Now, one of the reasons why we like the Pythagorean theorem in algebra is because we have this thing called the Cartesian plane. And you'll notice that I've done these notes on grid paper because when Descartes came up with the coordinate plane, he made it possible for us to do geometry using numbers as opposed to you know, a compass and a straight edge so that you can actually look at values and find distances and measure things like parallel and right angles and so on and so forth. So if I have a Cartesian plane and I ask you to find the distance between two points, because let's say those two points make up the side length of some polygon and you have to find the area of the polygon. So I have some coordinate plane here and like this and this. These two points make up a side of some polygon I have to find the area of or perimeter of. And I need to know the length between the two. So if I just stick with the standard numbering of one unit equals... Uh, one square, one, two, three, four, five. So this thing has, this point has a uh, ordered pair of three, five, four, five, six, seven, eight. This would be eight, eight, right? And so if I want to find the distance between three, five and eight, eight, I can't count like spaces, that's not going to work. But because of the Pythagorean theorem, I can turn this length here into the hypotenuse of a right triangle by just drawing in a horizontal change from one point to the next, and then the vertical change from one point to the next. So I have to go this way horizontally, that way vertically, which gives me a right angle and a right triangle. And now I can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the distance between those two points. And so I have one, two, three, four, five there. 
and one, two, three there. So I can say that my unknown length is going to be three squared plus five squared equals that length squared, right? And then I get nine plus 25 equals uh, 34. So therefore, the length that I am looking for is the square root of 34 units. And so I just used the Pythagorean theorem. I just had to recognize that I could draw the right triangle in.